Good. How you guys doing? All right. Makes sense. What's going on here today? talking to me on the phone. I said, give my old lady back the phone. And he kept going on and on and on. And then he came down right there and was getting in my face. And then the, the her dad was standing behind him saying, whoop his ass, whoop his ass. And then uh, they went away. And then Don come back and uh, said that he was going to fucking kill me. Okay. Okay, and I do need to let you guys know I am recording our conversation with our new no body problem. cameras, no just so you know on that. No so, he's at the house with the black truck. Okay, how close did he get here today? He was right there at that uh, red fence, right there. Okay, and did he have anything in his hands? or? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, man, what's this all stemming from? Well, it all originally began that they were all drinking down the street. <coughs> And uh, my old lady punched him to get him off of her, and he gave her a concussion. When did this happen? Oh, uh, about three weeks ago, somewhere in there. Okay, did we get called on that? No, sir. Um, she got an ambulance ride, yeah, and that I was it. I got an ambulance ride. I don't know much about what happened. Okay. She, she so I don't know out. who was called and who wasn't. I just was at the hospital. That's one of the new ones. Who called? They did. They did down the street. They called. Uh, down the street. Can I go back to Yeah. So, so. And the whole thing came down that he want he was wanting to fight with me, and then they, and they took off, and then Don come back saying he, he wanted to fight with me. He's the older guy. Mm -hmm. And then he threatened to kill me. Okay. Now. Would there be any reason for them to say you threatened to kill them? No. Okay. Did you have any weapons? No, sir. Okay. This all happened today? Yes. Oh, except for her getting a concussion. Yeah, so she got a concussion about three weeks ago down there. Y'all were drinking. And no, it was here. Oh, it was here. And then, and then last night they were having a barbecue. We were arguing on the phone, and he ripped the phone out of her hand. Okay, so you guys were attending the barbecue? I was I not was. here. I was. Okay. I'm confused. Let me let me ask some clarifying questions just for myself. If that's and right I'm going to check with Paul, see if he's doing okay down there. I'll be back here. Yeah. And, uh, so yeah. I'm going to wave at my writer and have him come stand with you. Kids here, and her kids are here too. All right, it's so like the, no. The whole thing started over something about the store. Dusty well, was gonna go to the store. Oh no, yeah, Dusty came out I was outside. He was getting ready to leave, and Lonnie's out there antagonizing him. Okay, I don't know who Dusty is. He's my husband. He's inside. I've been okay, him Dusty's inside. husband inside. Lonnie is stays and hangs yeah. around down there. Yep. So, gonna go to the store. Comes out antagonizing Dusty. Dusty. And then your dad comes out. Yeah, because he heard them screaming. My dad came out. Where were they screaming? Where were they down standing? There. So they're all the way down there. Yeah, they're like Why was between. Dusty all the way down, down there? Because Lonnie comes walking up. Like they met each other in between. Oh, okay. So kind of a. Yeah, because Lonnie kept. Dusty running. shouldn't have gone down there. Lonnie shouldn't have come back yeah, up there. Okay, yeah. I'm with you so far. Yeah. Husband, hey, come. Uh, I just need to let you guys know I have one of our fancy new body cams operating. Okay, so. What you say? The what? The, the body, body cameras cams, that we wear. Oh, oh great! Camera. Don't so you, smile. Yeah. Um. So then, 
Dad comes out. Yeah, Dad comes out because Here's he didn't know what was going to happen. And then, of course, they both, my dad and Lonnie are both running the mouth to each other. Dusty walked away. He came back. Okay, and he so left now, and went to the store. So now it's between my Lonnie dad and, and Lonnie. Dad. And then Lonnie's like, I'm going to call my family. I'm going to call my Uncle Marty. I'm going to kill you guys. I'm going to kick your guys' ass. And Lonnie grabbed a brick mm -hmm. and was going to hit my dad with it. And I was like, you want to know what? And I'm trying to keep them separated. Okay, and so you were down there too. Yeah. All right. I don't want no one getting hurt, man. I was like, well, no, I don't care. You can call me a cop car, snitch, whatever, but I have to protect my family. This is bullshit. He will not leave her alone. He's been calling her all goddamn night since last night and everything, and she even told me to call the cops, and I did. I don't care. I'm done, dude. I, I'm not going to do this. No, Lonnie's girlfriend, you mean? Yeah, Lonnie's girlfriend. Okay. Yeah. Well, they're supposed to be exes. They're supposed to be exes, and she's like, I'm done. She even packed his crap for him, and, like, he will not leave her alone. He's messing with my family. I'm tired of it, and I'm scared because then he really, he really did call his family down there. Okay, so something I probably should have asked in the very beginning. Did anybody get hurt? No, Lonnie shoved my dad. My dad shoved him back, and then I was trying to get him. I didn't want him to swing on each other. That's when Lonnie yep. grabbed the brick. Okay. All right, so how far away was Lonnie with the brick from your dad? Um, I was like this, so. Okay. okay and what color kind of brick? The reddish, like the reddish, like the dark reddish brownish down there. down there. Okay. Um. I didn't hear the whole story down there. In fact, I didn't hear any story down there. I walked. You saw I okay. drove up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, you may have. Yeah. It's like the polar opposite. Wow. He's like, I, I'm coming out here, and he's like yelling, like, go down here, you blah, 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 just, just back, you know, antagonizing. It's, he just wants to go down there. He's probably at 1313. Can I ask a, maybe an obvious question? Yeah. Two. How long has Lonnie been hanging around down there? How has this been going on? Uh, she, That's like, for, one. like, so, she didn't want him over there last night. No, no, I mean, how long, so how long it, have they been together? Has it been a like, year? Has it been two years? Has it been a month? Is, how long has he Honestly, been I don't know how long they've been together, but I know that they've been, since I moved in here, they've been fighting, like, off and on for, like, months. Okay, and I don't know when you moved in here. Yeah, so that, no, that but it's, yeah, but since I, like, I haven't lived here long, maybe six months. Okay. And since I've known cool. her, like, they've, she's, they've been at each other, kind of. Off but like now, but lately she's been like seriously so this in, it. So this antagonist. Not with the guys, but with her and Lonnie. How about between Lonnie Dusty and, and. Ever since he said that uh, Dusty was disrespectful, like he got on the phone because he kept calling Amber Sloan and Dusty answered, like, what's your problem, man? Like, what how is going ago? on? How long ago? How many uh, weeks? Yesterday, that's when they started it. Okay. So this has been a per relatively short. Yeah. Incident. And okay. You can even talk to my neighbors right there, Terry, because well, Terry stayed the night with Amber last night. Okay. She was scared of Lonnie coming there. Okay. And was there a time where she, medics were called for her? Yes. When was that? About a month ago or so? Yeah, because we had a little get together, and her and Dusty were wrestling, and Dusty fell the toys, and Dusty went to go get her back, and she fell and smacked her head in the concrete. And gave herself a concussion for Bob. For hmm. Okay. Is anybody, well, it's been a short amount of time, I was thinking, considered maybe a any harassment order? Well, I would, I would consider okay. harassment order against him. And then my partner's going to come over and shed some more light I think we should side. meet him at the truck yeah. and have a yeah. so conference. We're going to talk to the other okay. officers yeah, real quick. Let me see what he's got, and I'll come back to him. All right. Thank you. Cool, real good stuff. Exact opposite of what you heard down there. Apparently, we have an opposite story. Is what I'm hearing. So, so their story is three weeks ago, her and Dusty were, I guess, they hit each other for playful banter. Mm -hmm. she, he hits her, not hard. She pushes him back. He tackles her. She falls down and gets knocked out. So it was a complete accident. Last night, she's having a barbecue to celebrate her first week of insurance work, of open enrollment, which she said is crazy. So it's a de-stressor having the neighbors over for a barbecue. They have a barbecue. Lonnie is not here. Lonnie is the boyfriend mm -hmm. involved. Mm -hmm. Lonnie is out at the state line area or somewhere away from here. So girls or something else. Yeah, well, he lives out there. Yeah. Oh. So she is arguing with Lonnie on the phone. She goes outside to argue. Dusty comes out, grabs the phone from her, Starts arguing with Lonnie. Lonnie says, give the phone back to my girl. She says, give me the phone back. Dusty gives her the phone back. 
Sam, William, they Edward, continue their argument. These people come back home. Dusty comes back home. Dusty comes back home. Last, uh, Lonnie comes over after the party. Him and his girl work out whatever it was they were working out. He, Lonnie comes outside this morning to smoke a cigarette, and Dusty starts yelling at him. So they meet on the sidewalk, and they're face-to-face arguing. They were good so far. And Don? Is there a Don here? That's probably Dad. Dad, Don, um, says, Dusty, kick his ass, or I'm going to kill you. Um, So. Man, I haven't talked to Don or Dad yet. He doesn't come out. You know what this sounds like? Mm -hmm. Everybody else is getting in everybody else's business. Mm -hmm. So, I don't have anything. He says, uh, she said that when they were out here, she was trying to keep them apart, and Lonnie picked up a red brick somewhere in between here and there in that yard and uh, where they met and was going to hit, said, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to get people over here, my family, and kill you. I suggested a canning grass in order. I think that's what was suggested. But, yeah. but she says they're best friends. Right, I can see that. And she says that Lonnie and that one are having all sorts of domestic issues and that she's yeah, afraid of everybody Lonnie. Everybody Wouldn't surprise me. I wonder if this guy saw anything. Since, since they're probably loud enough to where the whole neighborhood's yeah. on. Mm-hmm. Or maybe the guy over there on yeah, the bench or something. Everybody's out on their porch right now. Yeah. Hey. Well, if we don't have anything, we don't have anything. You want me to talk to this guy? Um, I'll go talk to the guy in the white. I don't know. What do I you just want to see if the guy had a brick. Yeah. If he didn't have a brick, then I'll, I'll go talk to the guy in the I'll white. I'll check with this guy here. Yeah. I guess we could probably look through and see one, right? Yeah. If there was one? Yeah, it should be in the front yard over there. Hi. Hi. Can I come chat with you? Sure. Hi, Pup. Dog have teeth? <laughs> yeah, right come oh, on. I won't even look at you. Okay. <laughs> Um, first off, I'm using one of our fancy body cameras that we got going now, so I'm recording our conversation to let you know off. Did you witness anything this morning here? No, I just woke up. Okay. My wife just told me the cops were here. Did she hear anything? I don't think so. Did you hear anything this morning? Huh? Did you hear anything this morning? Oh, yelling and screaming out front? Did I hear what? Yelling and screaming out front? I thought I did because something woke me up, and then when I um, woke there. up, I didn't hear anything. But okay, there. okay. fair right. enough. Fair enough. All right, super. Thank you. Yeah. What happened? We really don't know yet. We have two <laughs> complete opposite stories of what happened. Okay. So we're pretty sure there was some yelling, but then things just get really different. And that house says one thing, and that house says another. So. Uh, oh, now you're going to wag your tail and be all friendly and lick it on, yeah? Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah? Be good now. Be good. Be good. Be good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's quite all right. Okay. Well, thank you, guys. Yeah, we're just trying to sort it out and... Okay, have there been problems that you guys have been aware of? We're friends with both. It's just a situation with the one dial there, so. Okay. Super. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Did Don ever want to come out and talk to me? I'm getting good at this. Yeah, he's got this all figured out already. <laughs> Go back in the car. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't see no. anything. Well, my guy saw it all. Yeah. Oh, good. He was just uh, sleeping. They hear arguing. These two guys, they come out and look, and they see two guys here arguing, and the women are trying to keep them apart. Dad takes his shirt off, starts threatening to kill Lonnie. Lonnie picks up a brick, then sets it back down, and then they all separate. Hmm. They say that Dad has taken their shirt, his shirt off before and tried to start something with them as well. So Dad's a habitual shirt taker offer. It's a good weather for it. Yeah. <laughs> So Dad's the problem here. Yep, and that's why he won't come out and talk to us. Right. Okay, so we're going to go. He can stay there with the Watch the dog poop. Hmm. I'm just thinking about the sergeant. I'm so close. All right. Well, I'm going to talk to somebody over here just because.
So do you live here, Lonnie? I have, I have a house at the state line, but this is my girlfriend's house, so yes, I do live here. Okay. You wouldn't be surprised if we have different versions? No, not at all. Okay. Amber and Lonnie has a child together. Okay. And what's her first name? Amber. Amber. Actually, can you have her come out so I can talk to her for a second? I want to... Yeah, no problem. Babe, the officer would like to talk to you. So, sit up here and talk on the side for a bit. So she makes it sound like there's problems between you and Lonnie, and that you're afraid of Lonnie. I'm not afraid. We have problems. We've been arguing for the past week. Okay. But I'm not afraid of him. He'd never hurt me. But, okay, no violence? No. Okay. And, I mean, she even said that you spent the night at somebody else's house last night because you were... No. Uh, um, Terry was going to spend the night with me. Okay. And so Terry did that? To, no. Oh. When he showed up, I told Terry that she could go home. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And Terry is the lady in this house, my next, well, that gotcha. would be my next door neighbor with the next house. Okay. Right here. Yeah. The, the white and green one. Because nobody's living in the new house yet. Right. It'd so they're not my neighbors. But Good yeah, point. My, next, my next door neighbor. Well, how long have you been working on that house? Um, he got the permits in April. They started in August, September-ish. Not, not moving real fast, is he? No, it's just him and one other guy building it. And they just finished the, um, which line a week ago. That's a good thing to have in a house. A week and a half ago. Yeah, it's super tiny. It's a little bit bigger than a double wide. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there's no issues we need to worry about with you and Lonnie or anything no. like that. No. Okay. No, we have our problems and we argue, but that's about as far as it goes. Okay, and was that accurate about Dusty yanking the phone out of your hand or him answering the phone or how did that happen? He didn't answer. I was on the phone, um, like I said. Everybody was either inside or outside in the back because there's a, a fire pit back there, so they were all inside. And then Lonnie called and we were arguing, so I stepped up front, um, just away from everybody. Like, nobody needs to hear what we're arguing about. So I stepped up front, and Dusty came through the front door and took my phone. So, Got and then went back inside, and I don't know what said between them, but sure. I stayed out front. Okay. All right. Okay, super. That helps clear some things up. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Very rarely is one story accurate. Baker, 142 and Ida, 470. Either mind your business and stay over here, or go to the court and do it properly. Knox in Madison for an assault, a male on the line saying that four people jumped him and tried to assault his girlfriend. He thinks they may be armed, but no weapons seen. It sounds like it's a line where he's approaching them and someone's saying they're going to kill him. They're getting further knocks in Madison. You know, I just, I worry about my family and, you know, and I don't know this guy very well. I know him from the trailer court that I lived in and I know their family. I mean, that's hearsay. Yes, I do. But I know that his family is involved in a lot of other stuff. It's hearsay. So we need to draw a line on the sidewalk. And these people stay on this side. Yeah. We're clear. I'm Jason. I'm at Jason James Brickner, 717 of 79. He's not a sex liar. That's right. Ping pong again. So we just fell in an ID suspended third.
Okay, so here's what we're coming up with. Basically, we need to keep the males separated. Okay. We're going to think of this like a uh, primal gorilla troop or something like that, and the dominant males have to stay on different sides of the boundaries, otherwise there's going to be fights ensuing. Okay, so pretty much like uh, we'll make the new house the neutral zone, and you stay on this side of the neutral zone, they stay on that side of the neutral zone, and the males don't talk to each other. Does that make sense? What? The females can't well, you, you two both seem to claim each other as friends, right? Yeah. So, yeah, and that's normal and what we see in gorilla troops and stuff. The females can get along just fine. It's when you get the dominant males close by, hair goes up on the back of the neck and everybody starts fighting. So we'll just make the new house the neutral zone. So that'll be like the demilitarized zone in between North Korea and South Korea. And you can be North or South, I don't really care. Um, whichever you want to be. North. You want to be North Korea, okay, so you're going to be the crazy dictator. Um, and that's a neutral zone. And we'll have them stay over there, and you guys stay over here. And if it gets worse, there's issues, and people need to consider getting anti-harassment orders or something like that. Okay? What about the threat to kill nothing? It's it's at that gray area where you we wouldn't be able to prove it, type thing. And threatening to kill means motive. I mean, a big old guy taking his shirt off. Did you did you think he was going to be able to kill you? No. So at most, what we'd have is like a disturbing the peace, making comments and stuff like that. So you know, we'll document the stuff we documented in the call. Um, Understand. But it's just, you know, they think you're going to bring a bunch of hoodlums in and burn their building down. You know, they think they're going to do. Like yeah. So, just, it's just let's keep it's the. It's just disrespect. It is. It is, and that's why we'll have a neutral zone here, a demilitarized zone, um, no bricks, no nothing. Okay, and do that, and you know, if there's communication needs to be done, the girls talk, and just leave the boys out of it. Because boys are stupid, and that's all there is to it. And I told my daughters, you know, boys are stupid, throw rocks at them. Yeah. <laughs> so, does that make sense to you? I mean, because... There's just a disrespect. It is very much so. And, I mean, the fact they came all the way down to here, you know, kind of puts the onus on them on that a little bit. But I guess what we're asking people to be is a little bit... Somebody's going to have to be the bigger person on this. I'll, I'll do that. And we'd I'll appreciate that. And, mm-hmm. and that way... Uh, we can avoid this, but yeah, I guess, yeah. Where's your camera? It's just a great little box right here. Uh, I was thinking it was that, that yeah. would be yeah. yeah, you guys like those things. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. love it. You know, it, it it doesn't change the way I'm going to do anything because uh-huh. I wouldn't do anything. But all of a sudden, I mean, I'll have people that were hostile when I first started talking to them. All of a sudden, they look down at the camera <laughs> and you just watch them switch <laughs> like that, and they realize anything they say or do, right. and then they calm down. So. Yeah. Uh, you guys all out here, no, it, you know, we'd rather be out here at this point in the game than after somebody does actually get hit with a brick or something like that. So if we can do a little intervention and give you guys some guidance and do that. All right, fair enough. Okay, answer any questions for you guys? Not really, you know. <clears throat> the one question I have is what about, like, I don't want them to go to jail enough, but what about, like, the pushing on them? Mark. Yeah. From our super secret witness, who pushed who first? Uh, kind of mutualish. Okay, so kind of our, our only neutral but witness. They, they can't really see the, the put. They just saw more more of the girls breaking things up. Yeah. So. No problem. Um, that, so that's where we, you know if we could have something where we could have a clear cut, you know, something where we could prove it. Then at best we'd give them a ticket, which I don't think that would have solved anything. So it's just asking you to be the bigger person on this thing and avoid contact. And yeah, yeah, I I wish I could have an answer on how to fix all this, but I don't. It's going to be somebody being the bigger person and tolerating somebody else's bad behavior. Okay, any other questions I can answer for you? All right, thank you guys very much.
You want this closed? It's broken. I, I can still close it. I'll let you guys take care of it. Camera is off.